my friend. Uh, give me just a quick moment to shuffle up. Oy, oy, oy. I was trying to fix the uh, the setup on here. It looks so wrong to me <laughs> because those numbers are so small. I don't know why they got that small. Like you said, maybe it's an update. But good grief, let me. Can people see that? Yeah, I guess that's fine. But I, I apologize. I do not know why it is that small. And if I put this right here to prop it up, oh, you can see the fan. <laughs> you can see the fan anyway. <laughs> Behind the scenes with T1 Glistener Elf. And do you have like a username, a YouTube name, or Twitch or anything uh, like that? Dark Druid. Dark Druid? Okay. You're Dark Druid on Twitch or something? Yeah. Sweet. I don't. If you ever streaming, let me know and I'll like. I don't have a stream set up. Yeah. But if I did, I'd probably just, um, stream 14 stuff. I gotcha. I, uh, the internet here is so slow, and I'm assuming it is for you too, since you live pretty close. Yeah, it's uh, not it's, <laughs> it's tough to stream here. What is it, three megabits a second, I think, is where we live? And just a few miles down the highway from me, we're fine. And he won the die roll, so, uh, you're yeah. on. Uh, it's not, I mean, it's not crazy good, but you can stream. But not from here. I just realized I forgot to get the. Um, I'm trying to play it the way it is because it's still tabletop setup. Oh, you need to yeah. borrow the cradles. Yeah, I don't have the cradles in it. Um, I forgot to get them out. Let's. Uh, <laughs> we'll be back behind the scene. <laughs> Intermission music. Go. Take two. And a half. Sort of. All right. Here we go. There's a story there somewhere. <laughs> Alright, so I, I still have the same handout. He can vouch for that. Okay, this is a hand. Oh, ooh, yeah, let me uh, not... Let me flip this around so I don't show my opponent. No, he's, he's good. One, tiny screen. Two, he's focusing on that. Three, this hand. This hand. <laughs> oh, Dak. Oh, okay. Dak. Um, <clears throat> I'll try this. See All what right. happens. Fair enough. You ready? Yep. Let's do this. Lana Ward, you. Okay. Hi, Lana Ward. Alright. Whale. <coughs> okay. How's about we fetch yep. blip, go to night, oh, sound effects are on. Oh, okay. Now, I should admit, first time actually playing the deck. So we'll see how this goes. I, I can obviously tell it's elves, so I don't have to worry about waste effects. So we are going to go with an underground sea. Well, these are some old sleeves. These have been around s since before the channel. So, uh, 2012, I want to say. <laughs> Not played the whole time, of course, but good grief. So, these actually were, a little fun story. My ex, uh, she had the other side of this. The, there's this and then another one, and they form a picture together. So, we thought that was sweet, and she got one side, I got the other. Um, I actually don't remember if she had this one or not. I think she had the other, but I, I have them both now. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> that that worked out really well, let me tell you. Uh, I'm sure. We're going to play a careful study. Draw two, discard two. Yep. Yeah, it's, uh, it's still in the process of being a messy ordeal. Unfortunately, as Evangeline, if she were old enough, as she could tell you. Alright, so... That's actually interesting. Let me, let me show the camera the cards I got off of that. So, what I could do... Is, uh... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's a little too cute. 
No, no, we'll we'll try it that way. We're going to go. Um Grizzlebrand Volcanic Island. Pass turn. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let me see. Oh yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> Alright. Dropped it before I realized what I grabbed, but that's fine. Oh. Oh. Let me stand on my hands for just a quick sec. I, I do want to ask, and maybe now's not the time, you don't have to answer, but I do want to ask at some point how many basics you happen to be running. Uh, what was that? <laughs> two? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's yeah, same here in my elves deck. Two forests, two bayou, four guys, of course. Yeah. I, I forget the exact number of fetch lands. What's up? I think two is the norm. I think that's right, yeah. Um, with that many fetches, I think that's fine. And in game one, you go for the basic forest anyway. Because you don't really need the bayou for anything except death right um, for its ability. Then there's the sideboard. And then you have flex from there, but I'll I'll, I'll let you focus, sorry. I think I'm just going to pass turn there. Okay. Um, I run two caverns. Oh! <laughs> okay. This is a thing, I guess. I guess we Volcanic Island reanimate yep. targeting Grizzlebrand. Um, so I'll, I'll pay months. eight if it resolves. Yeah, it resolves. Okay. Blip, 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 blip. There's G Daddy. Yep. G Daddy. Hi, G Daddy. It's the G Man. Half Life 3 confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, man. Dude, I I wish. And then <laughs> we will pass the turn. Okay. Hit me with your best shot. Do 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 do. Going to attempt a glimpse. Uh force of will pitching show and tell. Yep. I, I have to. I already have a grizzle brand. You know. Uh, visionary. Results. Go okay. ahead. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, combat. Yep. Wee. Point. Yeah, so. Blip 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 blip. Okay. Put you to twelve. Put me to seventeen. Put me. <laughs> but I mean. I'm probably just gonna draw. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna draw seven anyway. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and force of will, ladies and gentlemen, is why I play blue <laughs> in here. Well, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Let's see. So many good cards. Uh, but we're going to start off with a. I'm just going to get all three of them. Badlands. Mm -hmm. Show and tell. What did you bring to class? I brought an angel that says no. Iona comes in and names green. Yep, him too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's that's tough. Yeah. You have beaten me off of raw natural order. I don't know that you've beaten me off of a like on the combo glimpse. Yeah. The value glimpse is still a one mana draw at least one card, maybe two. That's fine. Even if the spell's countered, if the glimpse resolved, you know. Your creatures counter. 
you're good, you're set, you're solid. <sighs> like a boss. Get you down there. Hey, there we go. All right. I feel like a horrible host. Do you want me to get you some water or something? I'm good. Alright. This um, is... Huh. Let me, let me scooch myself over here. Me, too bad I'm not Dalsim. I can't fly. Okay. Well. So here's a good start. And this is awesome. And, as if I needed more, this is awesome. These two. Let's get there. Maybe. Uh, Crossing fingers. I will keep this in. Okay. Uh, likewise. You're up? Go. <laughs> Try it, Arbor. <laughs> um, play it safe. Thoughtsies. Put me down to 18. Visionary Elves Bursler. <laughs> uh, gee, I wonder which of these cards I take. Um, I'll take the Wirewood. That's it. Pass turn. No lotus petals. Not yet. Yabba dabba do. <laughs> yeah, no way. Uh, play a land of war. Okay. I'm just going to cradle for a visionary. Uh, yeah, that's right. Dryad Arbor's a creature. And. Pass turn. Well, I would like to ponder. Sure. Hmm. Uh, so, put on top and draw. Yeah. yeah, you know how that goes. I will... Fetch. Uh, I will put you in the graveyard, <laughs> and then I will fetch. And by the way, yeah, okay. So that's my first fetch for the game. Yep. Okay. So we're we're solid. Um. I don't even now. I don't think this is a match where getting a basic matters. I don't think so. So we're going to get a volcanic island. I can't think of any elves tech for land destruction. Um, like, just having some crazy sideboard, like, wasteland <laughs> or something. <coughs> I know that some decks, like Infect, they can run it in the main board, but then they have, like, crop rotation to go get it if they need to. Elves just has value draws. And if you're glimpsing, you're not going for wastelands. Alright. So, anyway. Um, that's important because I'm going to cast a careful study. Alright. So, draw two. Discard. God. Discard two. Uh, huh. Well, there's a surgical extraction, so you're gone. <laughs> and, uh, oh, it's animate dead. It's an aura okay. that, uh, enchants a dead creature. That's actually what right. it says up there a dead creature. <laughs> Um, I'm just not seeing that printing of Venom it did. <laughs> gotcha. I will do a, a Marsh Flats. And I will pass the turn. I will move myself a little closer. Because that guy from Star Fox, come a little bit closer. I had Star Fox on the brain today. Why uh, 
force of will pitching force of will. That's that's, that's a test of men. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, I see Gaia's cradle elvish visionary. That's I um, my body is not ready. Reggie, my body is ready. Birch lore. Okay, nettle. Nettle sentinel. I'm bad at this guessing game. Fetch. Okay. Alright. Bye, you. Alright, thought sees. I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> Although, I, I guess you would do that earlier. Yeah. Because, you know, force of will. Yeah. That yeah. would have been the first play. Yeah. So not a discard. I haven't seen Death Rite when I peeked at your hand. How many cards do you have left? Uh, one second. If I may. Should be, yeah, two. Two, two Delvers of Squeakrits. Sorry. All right, you, you had it here? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, we're recording. Four. <laughs> I had a moment. Uh, play four. <laughs> I wonder what that is! <laughs> First floor <Lord> ranger. <laughs> and... What? <laughs> uh, take it? <laughs> Bastard. Elvish visionary, I foresee your doom. <laughs> okay, we're gonna be a jerk here. We're just gonna pyroclasm you. One two damage everything. to every two creature. To so you're a 2-2. Two, two. You die. Yeah. You'll, you'll be left with a cradle that won't make mana and a bayou. Yeah. Or a dryad arbor. When it matters. When it matters, brah. Um, after that, we will play an, an underground sea. Mm -hmm. We'll pass the turn. That just leaves surgical. Good old surgical. Pastor. Okay. Uh, I will careful study. Mm -hmm. All right. Draw two. Discard. Hmm. Well, obviously, clearly you. Oh man. I don't want to do this, but I think that's the right play. No, no. We'll just do. We'll do you. Bloodstained Mire and Entomb. You know what Entomb is, right? Yeah. <laughs> I like, for the like one person, I know there's one person on here that also plays Yu-Gi-Oh! who watches, so that's Foolish Burial. Same effect, just put a card from your deck to the uh, right. And then I will pass the turn. Okay, on the Dryad Arbor beatdown plan. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, my friend, what did you bring to class? I brought green. Yep. And there's game. Uh, the other was submerged, so I submerged the wire wood anyway, just yeah. to lock you a turn. Um, yeah, submerge. <laughs> Silly card. Uh, do you mind if we get another one in? Just, uh, just... A sided game, or...? A sided game, if you wouldn't mind. Okay. That's alright. Alright. Well, okay, man. Game three, with a slightly different sideboard yeah, for you. sleeves. Oh, yeah. Uh, what was it I said earlier? They are five <laughs> years old? A bit old? <laughs> a little bit. So I'm not gonna even try and... Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> All of the card sleeves in the gauntlet are, uh, some of them are actually new. Most of them are kind of new, yeah. and they're all identical. These are not in the gauntlet. This uh, reanimator deck and that stompy deck are not part of the gauntlet, oh. so they're different. It's not a nut hand, but it's such a nice hand. Um, I'm on the draw, I take it, right? You, yes. You're on the play? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let me uh, do this real quick. 
flip it around. Okay, you're cool. You're cool. You're cool. And uh, you're awesome. And you're a beast. And then there's this. <laughs> My kingdom. For, oh well. My kingdom for a horse. I think I'm just gonna keep this mostly for shiggles. I'm gonna keep and as well. Depending on what happens Same with my draws. Uh, I'm gonna fetch. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, over there. Oh, uh, jury's still out. <laughs> yeah, I'm much better than I used to be. I I can't really complain on that. <laughs> I uh. I was feeling terrible. <laughs> now I'm just, it's just congestion at this point. It's yeah. fine. I'll live. There are people that have it much worse than me, including me a week and a half ago. So, we're fine. And with the upload speed being as slow as it is here, uh, the people of Florida. Because by the time this gets up, Florida grief. Yeah. And I'm going to say go. <laughs> Strongest hurricane ever recorded in the Atlantic is the... Oh, okay, so this hand just went from 0 to 50. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> combo on it. <laughs> c, c c combo Okay, we're going to go underground sea pass. Alright. Okay, Elvis, show me a visionary, please. Uh, no, but we'll show you thoughts. Oh, right on time. Is it resolve? Um, first, <laughs> we're gonna brainstorm. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, you're cool. Uh, huh. That's two cards back. Let me double check to make sure this is right. Yeah. And then let me make sure the order is right. Okay. So. Marsh Flats, Polluted Delta. Everything else is about to be a hit. Yeah. Uh, Fire Ice, Thought Seas, G Daddy, Double Show and Tell. There is a wrong answer. Fire and Ice do It can either, for two mana, two damage to a creature. Uh, does it, I don't think it divides the damage. It does. It's fire. Okay, so fire is, is the fork bolt that's more expensive. That's right. It's not shock. Uh, and then ice. Yeah. It's my take... main board death right shaman answer. <laughs> I'm gonna take thought seas. Okay, that's smart. And I'll play revealed. Say go. All right, let me get everything recombobulated, and I'll I'll get there eventually. Yep. Okay. Well, so much for you. You did put me off the brainstorm fetch, so. That's some virtual value you got. We will um, pass the turn. Because I am actually seated in a place where I'm close enough to the screen that I should turn it around just to make sure.
Uh, uh, upkeep. Yeah, we're good. We'll draw? Yeah. Just deciding if I wanted that card still. Oh, okay. I mean, you know I have show and tell Grizzle brand, so I'm thinking you have something in your hand that you're okay with me dropping off of a show and tell. And Crater Hoof here won't get the job done, but something else might. Uh, Terastodon. I'm trying to think of what else might do the job here if it comes down off of a show and tell. And maybe I'm overthinking this. Maybe the answer is jam the, the grizzle brand here. Uh, I'm gonna walk into it. Uh, we'll fetch, mm -hmm. and then we'll fetch again. So, blip blip. All right. <clears throat> About to get punished for it. We'll see though, we'll see. I'm getting Volcanic Island Badlands. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna cast Show and Tell. Gee, I wonder what I'm putting down. Okay, what you got? Okay. I guess you you couldn't. Yeah, never mind. I did overthink that because Thoughtseize couldn't take Grizzlebrand because it's a Reanimator deck, and I had two Show and Tells. So unless you had Surgical two. It wouldn't make sense to take show and tell. So I, I just overthought it. If I had one show and tell, that might be different. But with two, not so much. Okay. All right. So they are actually tapped. And, um, past the turn. Draw? Yeah. One more. There we go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Submerge your Nettle Sentinel. Where's that do? Puts it on top of your deck. Okay. Uh, since you have a forest and I have an island, I don't have to pay the mana cost. Your glimpse resolves. Grizzle Brand is a jerk. <laughs> nettle. Resolves. Draw your nettle. Yeah. All right. May I pick up, just to make this easier, I have Fire yeah. and Ice and Show and Tell. Okay. We will start off with a Bloodstained Mire. Mm -hmm. Grizzlebrand would like to go to combat. Sure, I got a 10. Flip. Yeah. Uh, I will actually go to 18. Main phase 2. Mm -hmm. Let's see. This is. An interesting hand, I will say. Um, I will brainstorm? Yeah. Right. So now I pick those cards up anyway. Uh huh.
Pyroclasm, the one creature. Um, pass turn. Death right resolves in its Steve Argyle sleeve. Pretty awesome. Pass turn. Upkeep fetch. Mm -hmm. Well, can't get basic island here. Okay. We're good. Okay. Draw? Yes. Yeah. Um, you're fired. I knew I was pushing it into that. Uh, gonna, yeah, I got a three. Yeah. Uh, I'll just go to 24. 24. There we go. Uh, huh. <coughs> oh dear. One lung later. Uh, careful study? Yeah. Alright, so draw two. Well, okay. Uh, we'll get rid of show and tell and how about ponder. Another bloodstain mire. And pass the turn. So, there are two copies of Show and Tell in this deck, and they have shown up every game. Two of them, both of them have Close. shown up. Uh, we're gonna draw. We're gonna draw seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Draw seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Force of will. You win. Pitching, yeah. Yeah, Grizzlebrand. G Daddy over here. And then I had blue and fetch land for brainstorm. And yeah, when you can go 24 cards deep in your deck to find a force of will. <gasps> that is. That is silly. Um, it, I hate, can we do one more? I almost want to, like, take the show and tells out of my deck so that we can see what it's like when they don't show up, because th this is not, I swear, there are only two show and tells. So I actually played Cabal Coffers in the first uh, Magic deck that I ever built. It wasn't built for me, that I ever built. Because when I was in high school, we were playing Kitchen Table Magic, we didn't know what formats were, uh -huh. and so I and was playing Legacy when... Everyone else at the table was playing basically block or like standard. And there is one guy that beat me. He was the last guy, the last unique player that beat me, let's say, um, that was not even playing a vintage deck because it had at least two Ancestral Recall in it. Oh, yeah. Back when that, no, this was years ago. The card wasn't as expensive and probably wasn't his deck like his dad's or something. But, and he had Scalpelexis. That's what beat me. Because I had so many basic swamps. <laughs> Reveal the top four cards of your deck if two share a name. Uh, you, you mill them, and if two or more shared a name, then repeat the process. So I had a lot of basic swamps. Oh, okay. 
Huh. We're we're fine. My go Um, may I take a mulligan to seven? Because there's show and tell for the fourth time. Oh I said, can God. we try this again so we don't get show and tell? Um, even though this would definitely be a keepable hand, multiple lands, it actually has the combo in there. Um, I'm doing this again for the purpose of not having a show and tell hand. <laughs> Good grief. You know what's going to happen. I'm going to resolve one that doesn't have show and tell. And guess what I'm going to draw? Show and tell. <laughs> what did you bring to class? Show and tell. No, nope. what did you bring to class? That's what I brought to class. I brought show and tell to class. <laughs> oh, dear. I think it was Cedric Phillips from whom I first heard that. The, what did you bring to class? <laughs> someone, someone on the SCG commentary circuit. Trying to remember the voice in my head. I remember the line. I'm trying to remember the voice. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Show it. Double show and tell. <laughs> you just need to sign them out. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're five for five now. In seeing show and tell in here. <laughs> Okay, and again, that would have been a keepable, it wasn't just a show-and-tell hand, it was a keepable show-and-tell hand. What is going on? Oh, these poor sleeves. These sleeves are going to die before I stop getting show-and-tell. Probably. These sleeves, man, these sleeves. Alright, now, would you do me a favor? Please don't cut them to the top. <laughs> Plural, them. Whatever this poor card is, whatever this poor sleeve is, I actually don't know that I have any more of this, this kind of sleeve, so uh, I can put that on a sideboard card I'm not using. Oh, this is this is not exactly sanction, sanctioned magic, though. <laughs> okay, it does not have it. I repeat, we don't <laughs> have to worry this time. Okay, Are you so yes, I'm Good. I'm finally uh... we're, we're set. Green zone zero. Okay, get that Dryad Arbor. Yeah. All right. And then say go. Okay. And why do I have two cradles right beside each other on the bottom? I would like to underground C and thought sees you. Right. One, While you're shuffling, may I? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Wirewood, Birchlore. Why am I doing that? <laughs> I don't know. I know what my force hand of is. habit. Force of habit. Okay. So double death right heritage Birchlore Wirewood. <sighs> Wirewood with no value creatures yet. I see double death right. That's a pain. Given that you know the matchup, even though Green Sun for zero is great, I think I might no. still have gone. It happens. I think I still might have gone Death Right Shaman first. Um, but you also don't have a fetch land. You'd have to rely on me to fetch in order to... No, 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 that's wrong, because you only need green here. You only need green. All you need is green. All you need is love. <laughs> love is all you need. Yeah. That's a, that's a song. Um, mm, let, me, let me think. This is... So Finally, we have a time pick. win show and tell. Because those other two show and tell, th this is much easier, because I don't have to worry about death right. But here... And you're in the yard, but... <sighs> okay. I know the game plan. I know what I have to do. So given that, we are going to take... So assuming you don't get a land, you go land, birch lore, land, any other, and then tap the two to make one mana for wirewood or heritage. So in this case, birch lore looks to be the most powerful card other than the redundant death right, but again, it's a redundant death right. Uh, so we're gonna take the birch lore here. I think that's the right choice here. And we're just there. You go. There's your cut. Since I keep forgetting to, every time I'm play testing, I never forget to shuffle. <laughs> go figure. The man. green sun in. Past turn. Because you're you're more focused. You don't have to. 
think about your opponent too, right? Right. I th I think. Death right. Death right. Yeah. Death right. Screw play. Yeah. Why not? Because of pyroclasm. That's why you don't run out too. Unless you're worried about spot removal, like fire. In which case, yeah, you do run out too. Uh, yeah. Um. Can go. Okay. So. Um. Guess we just do it. I guess. Yeah, we just do it. I'm gonna be a jerk. Um. I'm going to. If you don't mind, I'm going to do two search effects at once. We're going to fetch, and we're going to entomb, just to save time. Alright, so... Uh, we are getting... Let's see, it's Marsh Flats. So we're going to get Badlands and Elish Norn. Do, 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 do. Hey, all my lands are bad lands. And you you can probably guess where this is going. We're gonna reanimate Elish Norn. Uh, yeah, that's game. <laughs> <laughs> this is a uh, yeah. There's reanimate. This yeah. is a stupid deck, and I know it. I I know it. Um, I'm not having the surgical in hand to say no. Yeah. To be honest, once it goes to sideboard, I I guess I wouldn't... Maybe maybe Elves doesn't do very well against Reanimator because some of its sideboard effects are discard, which is yeah, okay sometimes, but awkward other times. Two Cabals, two Surgical, two Thoughtseize, yeah. a library in there somewhere? Somewhere. Somewhere. Uh, do you have any Graft... Well, no, you can't run Graft Diggers because that hurts you too much, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because... No. Because you can't, like, natural order. Oh, yeah, I can't natural order. Or you can't green sun, right. yeah. Um, um, but at the same time, Tig does hurt me. Yeah, a little bit. Um, it, it hurts the, but it again, the green sun. But it and doesn't order. do anything to your deck. I find I can still play Tig. I, I might have to take out some natural orders, but green sun into Tig usually yeah, hurts that's, my opponent. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Um, but against yours, where most of your cards are the threes. Alright, do you mind if I switch to a, a different... You, you or I won switch to a different deck, because we've done four games with this. That's we can fine. do another if you want. <laughs> I don't mind. That's fine, whichever. If you want to switch, or I can switch. Uh, I'll switch. I'll do a different one. Are you still recording? Uh, yeah, just real quick, because <laughs> I was going to show the cards I cited out. I cited out, and this may have been a little weird to get Surgical Extraction. This might have been wrong. I cited out two of my uh, big creatures, which I think just left me with three. Three yeah. Grizzlebrands, Elish Norn, Iona. But I thought because of Entomb, that lets me play around Surgical well enough. Uh, There's the library. Oh, okay. Not I took out art. my worst cantrip, just one, and then it still left me Careful Study, pr Ponder, and Brainstorm, so I thought I was fine. This deck did not get to show off my, my favorite, and I'll t say I took out one Ixum. Still left me with nine reanimate spells. I have two Jace Friends Prodigy and a Dak Faden, but this is very much not the match for those cards. This is way too fast. So I have to take out these slow cards. Uh, Jace, I'm sorry, man. You just you don't make the cut here. And Dak Faden, same thing. Uh, y y no, <laughs> you don't slow my opponent down at all. Uh, instead, I sided in, and I'll be taking these out, but off the top of my head, obviously the two Pyroclasms, because I'm a jerk. Um, pyroclasm is for elves, it's for death and taxes, it's for infect, it's for decks like that. Um, I sided in one Submerge, for, again, like elves and infect and delver, often, uh, because it just puts you behind a t excuse me, puts you behind a turn, and it makes fetching a little bit awkward for the opponent. Uh, fetch and you lose whatever I just put back. Uh, it's not that much of a cost, it's mostly just that I'm doing that in the first place, just putting you behind a, a touch. And then, I had four copies of Thoughtseize, which I have considered having in the main board. Worst case scenario, I can turn it on myself to get uh, a creature in the yard, but I think I have enough disruption otherwise. I'm not playing Rakdos. I have Force of Will, so I just... In, I just play counter spells, and then Thought Seize can be a sideboard card uh, for certain matches. It also just is great on the play anyway, because other than Leyline of the Void, there's nothing I can't Thought Seize first. Uh, and in the case of Leyline of the Void, I better be on the show intel plan. 
Uh, that's it. That's about it. This is the uh, this is the deck, the Dirk. So for you, <laughs> Sylvan Library was that a card you sided in? Yeah. To try and dig. Fair enough. Okay. Um, I guess that makes a lot of sense in this match. I'm not really hitting your life total until you're done anyway. Yeah. So Sylvan Library is is pretty sick actually. Uh, and if it can dig for any of these other six. Sure. And. Uh, again, discard can be awkward because of the way my combo works, but with surgical, if you get thought see surgical, I'm in trouble. Yeah. Uh, that comes down. Yeah, yikes. Yikes. Lights out. All right. 